What is going on? I am Johnny Von Duke and you are watching Disney Channel. What the fuck? Yeah, we do a lot of different stuff on this channel. I'm not gonna lie. We just go with the flow, we vibe and we ebb. We just go with the river flow, so to speak. I just post as I feel, y'all comment and like and dislike and unsubscribe as you feel. You know, we're just about feeling on this channel mostly. And shit posting. Feeling and shit posting. We're very random, we're very feely. We're very millennial up in here despite being Gen Z. <laughs> but despite being a Gen Z millennial boomer Zaku, uh we are gonna be talking about well me mostly. <laughs> No one else is here today. It's just me. But I guess y'all are here with me. If anybody is here with me right now. We are going to be talking about a very old YouTuber. We're going to be talking about another one in conjunction with him. And that is going to be Joe Pass Gaming. And STR222. Or STR222, depending on how you said it. Now, how do I talk about Joe Pass Gaming other than saying he was the uh, pioneer for all of our current YouTubers? You're probably wondering what do I mean by that. If anyone remembers Joe Pass Gaming, he wasn't one of the first YouTubers. Don't get me wrong here. There were a lot of people who came before him. That's no lie. That's no bullshit. A lot of people came before Joe Pass Gaming. But when he showed up in the... It was pre-2010. He showed up around 2008, 2009. He got to seriously posting throughout 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14. He eventually dropped off a little bit before 2015. He brought forward the face cams. He brought forth actually recording the game, you know, on your hardware. A lot of people were doing that before him. But he taught... He got that on the mobile which was very big not a lot of people could get mobile shit recorded properly back in those days a lot of people had to hang up a camera and then put it in front of the phone he he took it a step further than that he advanced it by a lot he it like he made mobile recording on the phone recording what was going on on the phone screen popular like he made that it, he made that his thing he brought the face cam in. Not a lot of people were doing face cams before that. He made face cams big. Uh, what can I just say about Joe Pass Gaming that hasn't been said by so many others? And you can see it in the footage right beside me. It's like, this man has done a lot. And a lot of people have clearly respected this guy. A lot of people have made parody channels of this guy, you know? Little me, young Johnny Von Duke, back when this channel, before this channel even existed, I was watching Joe Pass Gaming, and he was the reason I got on YouTube to begin with. I wouldn't be on YouTube without Joe Pass Gaming, and I wouldn't have the style of content I would have without Joe Pass Gaming. Mind you, in those days it was very amateurish, and we're very much novice now, but we're taking it up steps here and there. But it's just like, this man inspired so many people to get onto YouTube and to get recording. And he made the people that are big now and famous now and popular now use the techniques that are used in the modern era of YouTube. You know, people like me are doing now and shit like that. He, he did it all. And he made this thing, this stuff popular. Even if you haven't heard of him. And even if your YouTubers that you are watching now haven't heard of him, I almost guarantee you if this man and STR Triple Two, now mind you, people probably would have came along later and made these techniques big, but if him and STR Triple Two didn't come around and start really doing these techniques, it wouldn't have happened at the spot it did. Would have happened a few months and years later, which is very important. These guys are the ones that made it big and people caught on to it and made it spread like wildfire. You know, they're the reason Sky does Minecraft had this the style of content that he did for a long time. They're the reason Captain Sparkles had the style of content they did for a long time. They're the reason Markiplier had the style of content they did for a long time. They're the reason a lot of YouTubers had the content they did for a long time. They made gaming big, and even though a lot of people didn't hear about them through the gaming, it was people watching them, copying that, 
and then bigger YouTubers seeing, oh, this is what the young ones are doing. Let's copy that too. It's what copy and paste. That's what YouTube is about. We're about sharing those techniques, yo. And they just, they did it. They made them big, you know. That. God. And let's talk about those Minecraft series for a little bit. Now, he mostly did Pocket Edition. I have his PC gameplay on the side right now, even though it's hard to see because he's going through a cave. His Minecraft series for Pocket Edition was big for Minecraft YouTubers, and it was big for Minecraft Pocket Edition, too. Uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition was very shoddy. It was very low-end. It was very beta, even though it used to claim it was alpha back in those days. It was very much beta when it was alpha. It was very much under par, but Joe Pass Gaming bringing heat and bringing actual content on Pocket Edition was big for it as a whole it really was it was big for minecraft pocket edition he brought popularity to minecraft pocket edition you know i didn't have a pc at the time i had a very shitty laptop uh back in those days console xbox had minecraft so that's not entirely true but it wasn't even pc minecraft even with xbox back then back in the 360 days y'all remember those days so yeah, I was screwed. I only had Pocket Edition. It's all I could run. And that was Pocket Edition Lite. Me watching Joe Pass Gaming made me get the full-on buyable Pocket Edition that was like $3 back then on the uh, iTunes store, I believe. Or uh, whatever app store it was back then. It changed names a few times since on the iPhone, but... Man, I remember having that iPhone 3, man. Getting that Pocket Edition for the first time full access. It was like a whole new world. And all because of this man right here. Like, he just inspired so many people. And on top of that, he had a chill demeanor. In terms of commentary style, it was almost Andy Black-esque. If anyone has watched, you know, Black Veil Brides, listen to their music and know who the lead singer of that is. He had a similar chill demeanor, and you know it was a very respectful demeanor. He didn't swear and cuss a lot like I do in my videos. He didn't shitpost a lot like I do in my videos. Yeah, he inspired the early days of Johnny Von Duke, CT325 back then. But, yeah, I'm not like that now, but he just had a nice chill demeanor that's comparable to, like I said again, Andy Black, even though... It's actually funny. <laughs> Joe Pass Gaming and Andy Black were coming up around the same era. That's kind of funny when you think about it. <laughs> God. Uh, it's weird to think about your childhood and how it's... How it's influenced you now. Oh, man. Like, I'm running out of words to almost say here. I could go on and on and on in circles for fucking ever. But before we go on and on in circles forever about Joe Pass Gaming, I think we should move on to SCR Triple Two, Colin, Joe Pass Gaming's best friend. Now Joe Pass Gaming, I, I need to talk about Joe Pass Gaming a little more. Would fall off in late 2014. His channel would not get deleted, but he would stop posting content for a few weeks. And then eventually he would make a tweet saying he was removing all content from his channel in 2014. And sure enough, a week later after that, all of his content got deleted. He left the banner up and the icon up for a little bit. With a while, he posted a video explaining everything. And he would go off to, you know, focus on his volleyball career. And he fell off YouTube. What can I say? A lot of people would make the tribute videos you saw in the clips and the footage. And that's the story where Joe Pass Gaming ended. But for a long time after that, and up until late 2018, I want to say, we had Colin STR Triple Two. And it's unfortunate about Colin because me and other people would harass him about where Joe Pass Gaming went. We would make all these videos trying to get Joe Pass Gaming back through Colin. It was horrible. We shouldn't have done it to the man, and I'll own up to that. But we were just trying to get our hero back. We were trying to honor our man, our people, our person, the guy who got us on YouTube to begin with. 
And it's crazy to think here I am, a small subpar channel, and I'm still posting to YouTube, and Joe Pass Gaming isn't. I know my channel went on random hiati hiatuses back in the early days, but it's weird to think I'm here and Joe Pass isn't. And STR for a while would be there afterwards. He would keep up with the Halo style content, the Minecraft PC content. He would do Pocket Edition in honor of Joe Pass Gaming and shit, which was nice. He did a questions and answers where he explained everything through Joe Pass Gaming a little bit after that. And then eventually, however, in 2018, he would fall off as well. And uh, content would stop on his channel. And then a little bit after that, you wouldn't find anything for him. Which is unfortunate. You know, these two people who got me on YouTube, they're just not here anymore. Who got a lot of people on YouTube aren't here anymore. And that's wild to think about. There will always be a place for Joe Pass Gaming on my channel. I will always have a lot of Joe Pass Gaming content in the Joe Pass Gaming playlist. I will try to update it with as much archive shit and as much fan shit from him as possible and for him as possible. He is a very key person to the YouTube landscape. He, again, was the pioneer for a lot of what other YouTubers are doing now, even if you haven't heard of him. He started that wildfire trend, and I will always respect him. Even if my channel never blows up ever, ever, ever. You know, if I become 40 years old, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, I'll still be here posting. Because it's what, it's what he got me to do, and... And I'll always remember this, man. There will be a day where everybody will stop talking about him and nobody will make more stuff about him. But I'll still be here doing videos because of him. And that means something to me. Might not mean something to you, but it does to me. STR Triple Two as well. You know, you inspired a young Johnny Von Duke. And that means a lot to me now. Bradley Eshelman. It uh, feels weird saying my normal name on the channel, but if anyone has watched this video, I hope you all enjoyed. I thank you all for taking the time to listen about this YouTuber. This is a very different style video compared to what we normally do on the channel. We don't usually do these memorial style or honorary style videos, but hey, sometimes you just gotta do it to it, you know what I mean? Anyway, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Take it away, other me. Excelsior. Woo! Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was pretty much a nothing burger, but if you've been watching my channel for all eight years that's existed, you should know that's uh, kind of what we do here. Anyway, if you somehow found yourself enjoying it, click over here to watch another video. Click over here to watch another degenerate video. Click here to subscribe to my channel. Then click down there for... Well, whatever lazy lack of originality content I put there. Anyway, get the fuck out of here, you filthy animal. Goodbye.